it is an IMF conditionality. That's what I'm saying. The IMF, I know, and I'm aware, is insisting that because you signed onto this conditionality, you must meet that conditionality by implementing the uh, VAT on con consumers. So it's not well, but but, but, but if, it is, if it is, and we all need the IMF money to help stabilize the economy, is it wrong for government to then implement it? That shows you the poor negotiation skills of government. That tells you that this government rushed into the IMF program. Because it's an IMF program that is brought so many taxes, my brother. We are paying COVID levy. We are paying pollution levy. We are paying energy sector recovery levy. We are paying financial sector recovery levy. We are paying uh, uh, e-levy. Now we are paying more on income tax. And now we are paying back on residential consumers. Incomes of people in terms of their investment, they've taken a huge haircut. Inflation is higher than even the minimum rate in terms of increment. And so what is the benefit from this IMS program? It's rather leading to hardship. An IMF program that results in untold hardship is not worth it. We've gone to IMF before. Under the end, it went to the IMF. Did we have a haircut? Did we introduce all this plethora of taxes? Did we introduce that on residential consumption? Okay. So what kind of IMF program? Mm. And, and that's why I, I agree with those who are saying that this government is raising for the, the, the coveted title of tax return. Because if you look at the taxes, and the number of taxes within this short space of time. Indeed, they qualify for tax return. Thank you very much, uh, John Jinapo, for joining us. He is uh, the ranking on the Mines and Energy Committee and a former Deputy Power Minister.